So let's come up with the circuit diagram of the electronic fan regulator. As soon as you see it actually there is a 220 volt 50Hz single phase AC supply which can run the fan, the single phase induction motor. The another terminal of the fan is connected to a resistor, the resistor is also connected to a variable resistance or we can say pot potentiometer. And one terminal of that variable resistance is connected to diac whose another terminal is used to trigger the triac we can see that BT136 and also diac's another terminal is connected to a capacitor and MT1 and MT2 these two terminals of triac are also being connected as per the circuit diagram so this is the fan regulator now we are going to open this up and show you each and every parts of the regulator so we are opening it up this way and finally we have got the circuit portion this is the circuit have a look on it this thing I am pointing out here is the potentiometer or the variable resistance this IC what you can see this is a BT136 this is a triac this orange thing is the capacitor this is another capacitor and the diac the diac is this this small blue component is the diac so here are all the things as you can see and as is a PCB the circuit is being drawn just one sided is here we start discussing our working principle we have two concepts about two devices used one is diac another is track so what a diac actually is a diac is a full wave or you can say bidirectional semiconductor switch that can be turned on in both forward polarity and reverse polarity it's an actually four layer semiconductor device triac is also a four layer three terminal semiconductor device or you can say it has three electrodes like this is an electrode this is an electrode and this is a gate so what is the basic difference between a triac and a diac so if you want to conduct a diac you need not give a gate signal to it but without giving a proper gate signal it can be positive or negative in, in both polarity to a triac you cannot keep it or you cannot get it into a conduction state so let's discuss the working principle of an electronic ceiling fan regulator before we give the power supply to the circuit or before we give this power supply to the circuit the variable resistor or potentiometer should be kept this one should be kept in maximum resistance posi position so that no triggering can be applied to triac through this gate and hence the triac will be in cutoff mode so no power supply maximum variable resistance so triac is switched off as soon as we turn on the power supply of the circuit and observe whether the fan is still standstill condition or not vary the potentiometer vary the variable resistance uh, decrease it slowly so that the capacitor which is placed here starts charging at its time constant by the values given by R1 and R2 
determined by the resistances R1 and R2. So once the voltage across this capacitor is more than the breakover voltage of the diac, what will happen? The diac will start conducting and the capacitor will start discharging through the diac towards the gate terminal. So as soon as the diac is starting being conducted uh, from the discharging of that capacitor the discharging takes place in this way the terminal through the gate terminal through the towards the gate terminal of triac so therefore triac starts conducting and hence the current starts flowing into the fan through this this closed path to this MT2 terminal, this MT1 terminal, this one and this supply to the fan. So this close, this closed path is being followed to run the fan then. By varying the potentiometer or this variable resistance R to the rate at which this capacitor is going to be charged get varied. This means that if the resistance is less the capacitor will charge at a faster rate so the earlier will be the conduction of triac so I'm repeating again if the resistance is less if the resistance is less the capacitor will charge at faster rate so that the earlier will be the conduction of triac as the potentiometer resistance gradually increases, the conduction angle of triac will be reduced. So as soon as the potentiometer readily, gradually or readily increases its value, the conduction angle of this triac device will be reduced. So the average power across fan here, the load is fan, average power across the fan or load will be varied so triac and diac are actually bidirectional switches so it's possible to control the firing angle of triac in both positive and negative peaks as it can conduct in, in both the positive and negative cases as it's being called a bidirectional switch so if uh, this whole thing is being considered as a project and if this whole thing is being uh, conducted in a home so it's um, suggested that do not uh, give the full voltage supply or do not uh, first you need not use the fan you can use a, a dimmer lamp a sort of bulb or anything and give some sort of 20 to 30 volt or some 30 to 40 volt a lower voltage rating to that and test that then use a fan and try that but for the thing actually happens this whole circuit and this working principle actually work out in a modern electronic regulator so the question arises we have a previous video on that uh, fan regulator that was basically based on the resistance changing so why um, with the change of modern days regulator also changes so this regulator has some plus points like it has power saving property it has reduced the energy losses we can get a step less control of fan speed here this is also very much cost effective than the previous one that there is a resistance controlled one so these are the basic reasons why this electronic ceiling fan regulator is being used thank you if you have any question uh, put it in the comment box and uh, if you have really enjoyed learned something like comment subscribe thank you